your name and message. I'll get back to you. Jim, it's Shirley at the cleaners. You know that brown jacket? The one I said looks so great on you? You're... Oh, fine. You already have a statement? Hmm, that's out of the way. No need holding up these good people any longer than necessary. I said, sir, I'm not through with Rockwood yet. Just a matter of a few minutes. Uh, Becker, maybe the princess would like to have a look at that statement. Why don't you show it to her? Well, I say he does. This here's Captain Call. He's the greatest ranger that there's ever been. I prefer my coffee hot and my conversation's private. Say he's sweet-tempered, he ain't, but you'll find that out if you hire him. Of course I have to. Sergeant Becker wouldn't want to keep Mr. Rockford waiting. After all, it must be very important for him to come down here in person instead of phoning in his order. Well, no, I was in the neighborhood, and you know what a kick I get out of watching you play Nazi. <laughs> and a possum here and there. Don't believe all my publicity, Mr. Hawkins. I was born and raised in South Philadelphia, and I've been playing football and working at it ever since I was 12 years old. That's a long time. <laughs> Gun did. He hasn't been indicted, Rocky. That was just an arraignment. If we can prove that the gun was stolen. Well, the only way you're gonna do that is find out who took it. Any ideas? Viola. Who's Viola? Oh, that don't make any sense. Inspector yes. from the Portland Bed and Breakfast. Good morning. Hello. Hello. We're so happy. Let's you're begin. Here. Very musty smell. It's oh, uh, it's nice. No, it could be a little mustier. We, we let a, a wet dog run through the. doesn't have to. It was a murder weapon used to kill Robert Reedy in his gas station last night. We traced it to Mr. Rockford. He's got his fingerprints all over it. I'd call that probable cause, Miss Davenport. Garn Stevens, my first wife, is in that movie. And she is Marge, whose face is eaten in the motel room while she's sitting there reading. And she was in the same motel room. What's it worth? Well, depends on the workmanship. If it's good, necklace could bring uh, 50, 75 dollars. Hello. 
I mean, no one can tell the difference anymore between what's real and what's fake. There's still an objective truth, an objective reality. <laughs> so what? I mean, you take this... How do you want me to handle this? Bring them in one at a time or maybe rent the Sons of Yugoslavia Hall and question all 300 at once? Dennis, the guy was parked in the parking lot of the Bread Air Yacht Club. Now, the only way in or out of that lot is with a key card issued to the middle. Johnny wants to see you. It's late? I'm gonna see him tomorrow. Apparently it's gotta be now, you know, he's in one of his moods. Fine. goes quite a little lady. <laughs> uh, she's had a rough life, too, more than enough for any one person. You know, Sonny, seeing her again, well, it, it sort of opened up my eyes. I, I mean, well, I never drop her a line on her birthday. Attempted murder now. Cynthia knows you were there. The marriage is over. What happened? Oh my God. Not only have you succeeded in receiving all of my gifts, but have done so beyond the boundaries that I have set. Wow. Wow, yourself.